Hello everyone, welcome to Pentacle Math Mania. My name is Captainess123 and today we will be working on solving problems with maths. John Paul is traveling to Tobago with some produce to sell at the market. He is going by plane. This means that each bag he packs must be less than 25 kilograms. He has a bag of okros, a bag of sweet potatoes, a bag of plantain and a bag of lettuce. When he gets to the airport, one of his bags was overweight, while one was below the allowed mass. The bag of plantain had a mass of 27 kilograms, 347 grams, and the bag of sweet potatoes had a mass of 23 grams, 815 grams. He tries to figure out what mass of plantain has to be removed. He subtracts 25 kilograms from the mass of the bag. When we subtract the 25 kilograms, we get 2 kilograms, 347 grams. He gets across to the market finally and lays out his items. He sets his prices up alongside his items. He sells the okros at a price of $5 per kilogram, the lettuce at a price of $6.50 per kilogram, the plantain at a price of $9 per kilogram, and the sweet potatoes at $8 per kilogram. Given that John Paul had to leave approximately two kilograms of plantain behind, how much money did he lose out on? At a price of $9 per kilogram, we can calculate the amount of money by multiplying the price per kilogram, which is $9 in this case, by the units that he had to leave behind, in this case an average of two kilograms. This gives us two kilograms multiplied by $9, which gives us an average of $18 that he has lost out on. Jason comes along and gathers three and a half kilograms of sweet potatoes and seven kilograms of okros. Let us determine how much Jason pays for these items. To determine the price of the sweet potatoes, we take the price per kilogram and multiply it by the mass. We can multiply eight dollars per kilogram by three and a half kilograms. We can change three and a half to an improper fraction and multiply. So we have seven over two multiplied by eight dollars. This gives us a total of $28. We can do the same thing for Jason's okros. He has 7 kilograms of okros, so we multiply the cost per kilogram by the mass. Okros cost $5 per kilogram and Jason is buying 7 kilograms. This gives us 7 kilograms multiplied by $5 per kilogram, giving a total of $35 for the okros. John Paul decides to group his okros into small bags with each bag having a mass of 1200 grams. After selling 7 kilograms to Jason, he has 18 kilograms of okros left. Can you determine how many small bags can be made from the 18 kilograms? We can first change the 18 kilograms to grams. 1 kilogram is the same as saying 1000 grams. Therefore, we multiply 18 kilograms by 1,000, giving us 18,000 grams. We must now find out how many times 1,200 can go into 18,000. We divide 18,000 grams by the 1,200 grams. After cancelling the zeros, we are left with 180 divided by 12. This gives us a total of 15 small bags of okros. Try the exercises on Pentacool.com to earn points and win great prizes.